Hello, Jordan. How you doing? Thank you so much for including your work and this wonderful written rationale. Very, very nicely done indeed. Make sure you save all your writing too, because a lot of this will come into play. You'll, you'll be able to reuse a lot of your writing in um, the final submission part two, which is the written uh, written analysis for, for the project. So let's go ahead and take a look at the, the banner. I, listen, I want to tell you something, man. Good job. I mean, you really took this in a different direction. And I, I, I just think it's refreshing. I really do. I think you, you've really done a good job. Conceptually, I think you really, really went in a unique direction. And it works. It totally works. So so that's fantastic. Um, now, looking at the web banner, you've got everything in here that you need. But think about it from the viewer standpoint. Okay, let's say I'm I'm looking at this on a web page. This is up in the corner, and 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 I, and I realize it's an ad, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, oh, this is interesting. I wonder where that is. Well, suppose I don't. I mean, I I, I I would like to know where the location is, especially since it's somewhat of an exotic location in the U.S. Uh, uh, United uh, United States Virgin Islands in the Caribbean specifically and some of the most beautiful waters on earth so I think that is very pertinent information you don't have to include the entire contact information but I would certainly include the location in the banner the other thing is your animations look fantastic however don't forget the requirement in the rubric indicates that we are to animate only the call to action that means the headline and subhead should remain static and only animate this call to action. I think your, your timing and your cadence is very nicely done on these. The, the, but once you take a look at this, the, the, the subhead, I'm sorry, the call to action animation, I would like to see it fade in and then fade out instead of that. But just it fades in, visible for a second, then boom, it's gone. I would rather see it fade in, visible, then fade out. And then don't let it fade out for any more than a fraction of a second. But as soon as it fades out, have it fade back in so the viewer knows that there's there's something. There. It's actually going to work to your benefit. Um, you don't want it to be invisible, gone at any point during the animation because the viewer, depending on when they look at it, could feasibly miss that promotion. So animating it in, fading it in, then fading it out. Then as soon as it stops, bring it right back in so there's no point in time where it's completely invisible. And, and that will assist the viewer in knowing that there's a... Uh, promotion involved here. Uh, typefaces look good, mask image, logo, everything looks looks fantastic. It really does. Um, so my only recommendations are those, the, the animation and, and uh, uh, the timing, etc. fades. That's it. Other And then, uh, of course, add that location. Other than that, you are doing wonderful work. All right. Thanks very much. Hey, any questions at all, please feel free to let me know. Thanks, Jordan.